So in section 9.2 on page 275, there's this equation, uh, and the, the section is discussing aluminum uh, and how it, it, it affects soil acidity. A lot of times when you hear about uh, acidity problems, for instance, if you have a, if you have a low pH, you'll also find uh, with things like, uh, you know, I'm familiar with wheat production in places like Oklahoma where the soil pH can get to 4 uh, or four and a half is not uncommon, and at those po at those places, you also have an associated aluminum, um, what we call aluminum toxicity. And and in section nine point two in your in your uh, in chapter nine, you'll read more about that 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 they're associated. One of the ways that they're associated, as it shows in the figure, uh, or sorry, yeah, the equation nine point one one on page two seventy five that you see here. Um, is is the activity of aluminum um, in the in the presence of water, and uh, that third paragraph in section nine point two points out that it hydrolyzes water, which means it breaks water up. Uh, so we take this water here, and we're going to break it up into an OH uh, ion and a hydrogen ion. Now the aluminum is going to be associated with that OH uh, ion. And uh, it'll go through another set of processes where, again, it, it hydrolyzes water again, it releases another hydrogen, and again does, uh, does the same thing. Okay, So it does several steps where hydrogen gets released into uh, the soil water. There's some other relationships uh, that go along with this in terms of uh, the fact that we find, we find aluminum um, in uh, in our clay structures itself, and and uh, this section will talk about how hydrogen sort of attacks this that that mineral uh, clay structure that we've seen before and releases that aluminum that then becomes a way just just pure uh, the, the the aluminum three plus ion when it encounters water it will start this uh, this hydrolyzing process and release hydrogen ions again anytime we uh, we increase the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to a decrease in the number uh, in the pH number, which means and which means that we call it more acidic.